Hello students, welcome to my class. Today, we are going to discuss few questions related to NEET exam pattern. Clear friends? So, let's start the question answer round and my first question look at which of the following does not produce any gaseous product when react with water? Before discussing this question, one more thing I am going to add that is this chapter is totally theoretical chapter. You have to, you do not need to memorize the reaction. You just need to follow the trip, uh, tricks, techniques, just method to proceed the reaction because there are um, number of reactions are there and it is not possible to memorize all the reaction. As during my lecture, I have told you it's better to understand the reaction rather than to memorize. Clear to you? So, look at the question. He has given which of the following does not produce any gaseous product when react with water. What is given here? That is friend, this one is water. H2O is given here. And first product is calcium nitride. We people know one calcium nitride Ca3N2 when treatment with H2O, then what will happen? So, in this case, one product is CaOH hall twice clear to you if one product is caoh hall twice then the next one is nh this is a gaseous product so in this case when a ca3n2 is treated with water then the product in this case is a gaseous product now if i talk about calcium carbide as we know this is one of the famous reaction when calcium carbide on treatment with water, what will happen? There is a famous gas C2H2, formation of C2H2 take place, that is acetylene. Remember this, I have discussed during the reaction. If I put here CaC2 plus H2O, then what will happen? It gives CaOH hall twice plus C2H2. This is also a gaseous product. So this is this is this one and this one is not a correct option. Now let's move to the next part of the question. What is the next part of the question? That is CaO, quick lime. This is the one of the simple um, reaction related to water as we know when quick lime is treated with water what will happen in this case tell me sir it will give you caoh hall twice slag lime there is no other product formation of no other product take place so here the question which of the following does not produce any gaseous product so in this case we people say that is cao will not give any product any gaseous product what about the about the fourth option ca ca3p2 calcium phosphide and as we people know when calcium phosphide on treatment with water it liberate it gives a famous gas which gas friend ph3 clear which gas friend that is ph3 so in all the four case, uh, cases third one is the case where there is a formation of only slag lime take place but if i talk about this one this one this one there is all the byproduct there is also a formation of gas take place so as per the question the c option is correct option as i told you earlier this is a totally theoretical chapter you have to command the theory otherwise it's not possible to solve the question clear to you basically you have to check out two uh, things that is the reactivity order and the stability order if you know the reactivity order and the stability order and then definitely you can proceed the reaction and if you proceed the reaction then i think you can easily solve question related to reaction or any other type clear friend so let's move to the next question we're going to discuss the next part of the question wait for a moment The next question is look at, wait for a moment, select the correct order of hydration energy. This is one of the most easiest and simple question, but 
frequently asked question what is given here hydration energy as we people know small the size of the cation higher is the degree of hydration higher is the degree of hydration that is higher is the hydration energy remember this as we know when we move down the group the size of the cation decreases tell me am i right or wrong sir you are wrong when we move down the group the size of the cation increases if the size of the cation increases then the degree of hydration decreases because small the size of the cation higher the degree of hydration higher the degree of hydration ultimately lead to the higher hydration energy clear to you and if higher hydration energy then lower conductivity ionic mobility in case of mobility or you can say ionic conductivity so what will be the order so think on it if i talk about lithium plus lithium plus has a small size then there comes na plus yes sir then there comes k plus so which will have higher hydration energy tell me friend so it's very simple close your eyes like me and tell me ally plus then come na plus then come k plus so tell me what is the order friend this is the order ally plus na plus k plus so option a is correct clear again i am repeating higher degree of hydration is smaller the size of cation smaller the size of cation higher the degree of hydration higher is the hydration energy but less is the ionic conductivity repeating less is the ionic mobility or you can say ionic conductivity now let's move to the next part of the question which of the correct order of thermal stability tell me one thing I'm not uh, telling anything about this question. If I tell this and this one, this is a figure. And if I talk about this and this one, now tell me which one has large size. So this one has large size, this one has a smaller size. So if we push it, then it can, it will take time to, uh, it will take lots of amount of energy to break because size is less. But if I talk about this, there is a less requirement of energy to break. If size increases, bond length increases. If bond length increases, then you can easily break the bond. So if I talk about now moving towards the question, if I talk about the first option, ally ally common hydrogen common hydrogen common hydrogen common but if i talk about boron if i talk about aluminium if i talk about gallium when we move down the group size increases so less amount of energy required to break it so in this case which one will have high thermal stability sir this one because small size so first option is correct now wait for a moment now check out the next option c a s r and b b a b e b e b e and common f common f common f common but if i talk about calcium strontium as we move down the group if i talk about calcium if i talk about strontium if i talk about barium then what will happen sir down the group size increases so it is easily breakable so this is also a correct order now check out the next one again what i'm telling if we move down the group that is from calcium to barium size increases if i this one is if calcium and this one is hydrogen if this one is strontium and this one is hydrogen if talk about this one is barium and this one is hydrogen now it can easily be breakable because larger size larger bond length so in this case what is the order this is also the correct order so a b and c all option a are correct so check out the last option all of these so for this question the option d is correct option 
क्लियर फ्रेंड नाउ एम गोइंग टू रब दिस पार्ट एंड विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेट फॉर अ मोमेंट व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग लिसन केयरफुली दैट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर डिकम्पोजिशन टेम्परेचर ऑफ सी ए सी ओ थ्री इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली नाइन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस विच आर डिकम्पोज एट लेस एज वी नो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अल्कलाइन अर्थ मेटल वट एम टेलिंग इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अल्कलाइन अर्थ मेटल कार्बोनेट देन वट विल हैपन डाउन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट बी ई सी ओ थ्री देन एम जी सी ओ थ्री देन सी ए सी ओ थ्री देन एस आर सी ओ थ्री देन बी ए सी ओ थ्री am i right yes sir you are right so down the group the stability the thermal stability of the carbonate increases so if it is a boundary and if it will have 900 degree celsius that is the decomposition temperature so for strontium and barium it will have a high value of it it will require high temperature but if i talk about mg and bco3 this can be easily decompose so in this case there is less than 900 degree temperature required decomposition temperature required but here more than 900 degree if if i take caco3 as a parameter so what is the question the decomposition temperature of caco3 is approximately 900 degree celsius which decompose at less than 900 so less stability so it will decompose easier and the answer is beco3 and mgco3 after decomposition what will happen it gives mgo plus co2 similar is the case beo and co2 clear now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question wait for a moment now the next question which alkali metal has lowest heat of atomization the question is what is heat of atomization sir the uh, the heat change or you can say enthalpy change to convert any elemental form standard elemental form into the gaseous form that is one mole of gaseous form that is heat of atomization like if i like here 1 by 2 br2 during this change it gives br gaseous form if i write na in solid form it gives na in gaseous form so the total heat change during the conversion of standard form into gaseous one mole of a gaseous form during this the energy is known as heat of atomization or enthalpy of atomization lowest heat as we know if we move down the group the size increases if size increases then it's very easy to convert that is first come lithium second come potassium uh, sodium potassium rubidium and cesium so this is the correct option cesium clear to you i think now you can easily solve such kind of question as i told you earlier this is a complete theory based question and <coughs> solving you can easily solve wait for a moment next one come to the next one select the correct order of basic strength look at what is the correct order of basic strength as i told you if i talk about group 1 and group 2 group 1 and group 2 or group 1a or group 2a in this case there comes lithium sodium potassium then rubidium then cesium then francium here comes beryllium magnesium calcium strontium and then barium these are alkali metal and these are alkaline earth metal they form 
बेसेज ऑफ टाइप एम ओ एच एंड दे फॉर्म बेसेज ऑफ टाइप एम ओ एच ऑल टूस क्लियर टू यू एंड दीज ऑल फॉर्म वाटर सोल्यूबल बेसेज ड्यू टू वाटर सोल्यूबल बेसेज एंड दीज आर हाईली स्ट्रॉन्ग बेसेज एज वी मूव we people know as we move along the period the non metallic character increases and non metallic in this case the basic character decreases so if i talk about koh this is the group 1 then comes uh, here mgoh hall twice okay then there comes aloh hall thrice because this belong to group 13 so order is koh mgoh hall twice and aloh hall thrice check it out koh mgoh hall twice and aloh hall thrice this two option is similar so a and b both are correct clear friend now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question select the best method to prepare oxide of potassium as we know for group 1 they form oxide of the formula m2o normal oxide they form oxide of the formula m2o2 that is peroxide they form oxide of the formula mo2 if i talk about potassium rubidium cesium they form superoxide like ko2 like uh, um, cso2 so on if i talk about the peroxide that is sodium na2o normal oxide it forms na2o2 peroxide if i talk about lithium it form li2o general li2o2 so here if you want to prepare the oxide of potassium then what is the super uh, good method that potassium on treatment of limited limited oxygen then it easily gives first k2o then gives k2o2 then gives the stable one ko2 this is a super oxide so in this case what is the correct option sir it's very simple in this case the correct option is reaction of k plus o2 limited normal per and finally there comes super oxide so what we say here the c is the correct option clear to you friend now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next section wait for a moment friend now next question is the reactivity order of 2a element with water now tell me what is the reactivity order we people know this <laughs> when we move down the group if i write here beryllium if i write here magnesium if i write here calcium strontium barium and radium clear now there is less ionization enthalpy ionization energy decreases and if ionization energy decreases then there is very very powerful tendency to release electron that is the reaction will be powerful that is reaction complete in quick time that is the reactivity order increases so when we move down the group we people can say reactivity increases so tell me what is the order in this case sir it's very simple if i talk about beryllium then there come magnesium then there come calcium then there come strontium and then there come barium so this one this one and this one is not correct this is the correct option am i right now now one more thing 
tell me what is the dissimilarity main dissimilarity between the alkaline earth metal and alkali metal tell me friend there is a basic dissimilarity that is the stability of carbonate bicarbonate and sulfate the two things the theory differs in this case so while solving the sulfate carbonate stability order of sulfate uh, carbonate or uh, hydrogen carbonate or you can say bicarbonate you have to check that the property differs in case of alkali metal and alkaline earth metal clear friend i have discussed this question now let's move to the question number nine now this is your turn you have to give the answer what is given here look at which of the following exchange h plus ion by ca2 plus or mg2 plus in hard water this is the question as we all know this is the method related to the removing the hardness of water and what will happen how to exchange that is ion exchange resin matter i have discussed these things in hydrogen chapter hydrogen and its compound remember this that is what is hard water what is soft water if it gives leather then it is known as soft water if it does not form leather then it is known as hard water hardness what is what is the reason for hardness tell me sir hardness is due to the bicarbonates or sulfates or chlorides of calcium and magnesium and how to remove there are many methods if there is a presence of bicarbonate then we people say this is temporary hardness remember this just revision like temporary hardness if there is a presence of sulfate and chloride of calcium and magnesium we people say this is permanent hardness clear to you how to remove the permanent hardness one of the most important method which is used this day that is iron exchange resins and in iron ex exchange resin there is a exchange of h plus iron by ca2 plus and mg2 plus in hard water so what is the method in this case sir that is iron exchange resin synthetic iron exchange resin method so for this b is the correct option am i right sir you are absolutely right what i am telling again i am repeating b is the correct option now i am going to rub this part and wait for a moment <laughs> now let's move to the next question choose the incorrect set first one oxidizing nature this is very simple as we know the fluorine is highly reactive high electronegativity then definitely the order is totally reversed the oxidizing nature in this case f2 then there comes cl2 then there comes br2 and then there comes i2 clear to you what i'm telling f2 cl2 br2 and i2 so definitely first is the uh, first option uh, this is first this is not a correct set okay this is the now check out the first ionization enthalpy what is the order friend that is i'm moving here sodium lithium boron and beryllium clear as we know if i talk about lithium and sodium sodium has less ionization energy because when we move down the group 
easy to remove electron if easy to remove electron from the outermost cell then we people can say that is the ionization energy decreases so in case of sodium and lithium the order is sodium and lithium now if i talk about lithium beryllium and boron as we know if we move along the period then what will happen there is very less tendency to release electron so ionization energy tell me ionization energy increases because size also decreases but here there is a contradiction if i talk about this that there should be the this should be the order lithium beryllium and boron but as i as we all know beryllium has electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 that is completely filled as subcell if completely filled then high stability and in this case ionization energy is not less ionization energy is more so the order is lithium boron and then there comes beryllium and the final order tell me sir it's very simple the final order is sodium then lithium then boron then beryllium i think now you can easily solve such question this is the correct order now check out okay sodium lithium uh, boron and beryllium and the order is ionization energy that is sodium lithium boron and so this is not a correct order so this is also a incorrect set now check out electron affinity as we all know the electron affinity order that is in case of nitrogen phosphorus oxygen and sulfur this is nitrogen this one is phosphorus this one is oxygen and this one is sulfur we people know as we move along the period the non metallic character increases and hence we people know the electron affinity also increases so the order nitrogen then phosphorus then oxygen then sulfur down the group here the cases nitrogen phosphorus oxygen and sulfur so this case is correct statement so this is not an incorrect statement now the aqueous ionic radius this one as we know more the charge of cation lesser is the size so aqueous ion radius that is na plus mg2 plus and then al3 plus so na this is not a correct order here the order should be Al3 plus aqueous ion ionic radius. Then there comes Mg2 plus. Then there comes Na plus. This is the correct order. So according to this, that is the option C is correct. One, two, and three. Clear to you? Now again check out the next one. That is nitrogen. phosphorus oxygen and sulfur nitrogen phosphorus oxygen and sulfur that is electron affinity or you can say electron gain enthalpy first come nitrogen then there comes uh phosphorus and then there comes oxygen and then there comes sulfur tell me is there any possibilities that is if i write here nitrogen then down the group then down the group okay so the option is 1 2 and 3 clear to you so if you have the strong theory then you can easily solve such questions clear now one more thing i am going to add as i told you earlier if there is a strong theory then you can easily solve such questions clear so for s block element you have to strong your theory you have to focus how to solve the question you just need to um, uh, need a pathway to proceed the reaction just do not uh, just do not need to remember the 
uh, equation remember the reaction again reviewing the things look at first one tell me what is the answer sir cao second one that is a option third one tell me sir libh4 lialh4 li li this one is correct this one is also correct this one is also correct then all of these now let's move four which one b co3 and mg a option is correct now which alkali metal has lowest heat of atomization that is cs that is six that is koh mgoh all type a h o l all try select best method to prepare oxide reaction of k with o2 that is limited supply now reactivity order a option now this one is uh, synthesis uh, synthetic ion exchange resin and i have discussed this question also so friend this is the end of this lecture we will meet you again thank you so much